Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. That's why we usually, when we are racing, we'll have to cut things down into short phrases. So we'll say something that, well, while it could be a paragraph in other, any yes. other setting, it's just a quick snippet of a word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And your time together has been like four or five years, or how, when did you start yeah. competing? So we graduated from college in 2012, and ever right. since then we've been on the road. But um, right. actually, we went to school at Boston College together. So, right. yeah. Okay. But in this particular class of sailboat. Yes. You've been paired for how long? For four years. Yeah. Well, best of luck Thank to you. you. Thank you very much. How did you get involved in sailing? Um, my dad is a sailor. Um, so I grew up on a little tiny lake in Wisconsin, and I, we're actually fifth generation there. So, um, yeah, I've been sailing my whole life ever since I was eight years old. Actually, when I was five, I got an Optimus dinghy, which is a little tiny sailboat under the Christmas tree, and I started just crying. I was very upset. I wanted to, like a stuffed tiger. But, um, so, uh, that was a little bit of a rough start, but ever since then I've just fallen in love with the sport, and I, my family is a sailing family, so it's been really, I've been very lucky. So your mom sails as well? My mom is not a sailor, I would say. I would say that she's more of a, she's very good on shore. She's very good support system. But it was pretty funny. We, um, she was in an adult learn to sail class that I was the instructor of. So I got to, I got a little bit of a payback <laughs> during that time, getting to tell her what to do. It's kind of a nice change. How concerned are you about that? Just one second. Can, can you just say her name for me, please? Annie Hager. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. How concerned are you about the conditions, the water? There's been so much made of the water quality there. I mean, we've been down to Rio about eight times now, and every single time we've come home been perfectly healthy. Um, we're more concerned about making sure that we perform down at the venue rather than the conditions down there. And like, it's it's just a part of the race course where we are prepared. With the USOC has given us a lot of precautionary things to do, and yeah, we feel quite prepared. What kind of precautions will you take? Um, we have there's a bucket that's a disinfect. We disinfect as soon as we get off the water, so we'll take our, our sailing clothing off and dip them in the bucket, and if we swallow a little bit of water, we'll just wash our mouths out with Coke and, yeah. Not too worried about it. No, I'm really not worried about it. I think we're luck we're fortunate enough to come back to the U.S. after, and a lot of other athletes are fortunate enough to come back to other countries after, but, I mean, we're going to be fine. I promise you that. It's just the people in Rio that I'm more concerned about, and I'm happy that this kind of shed a little bit of light on the problems that they're having down there. Have you noticed job of trying to um, pick it up and they, they we have seen them actively clearing debris. How, you, how excited are you to have the spotlight shining on your sport? It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is amazing. I wish it was under better circumstances, honestly. I wish um, that it was for our ability and the fact that we, Brianna and I, have a good chance of winning a medal for the U.S., but I mean, it is, it's really neat and just being here, I'm totally starstruck. I mean, right over there is Kim Brody. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. I'm a big, big fan, so <laughs> it's you have a legitimate shot that we medal area, you right? Um, yes, we won the Olympic test event in 2015, so I mean we're riding from that high, and yeah, we have we still have a lot to work to do, so we're ready to go. We're ready to do it. Cool. Say your name, so I have it on tape. Annie Hager. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. You're very.